As far as uh, sharp and flat hand pads, I think Dr. Desert was just trying to say that this would be a, a kind of a flat, rounded hand path. This would be a, a sharper hand path. And I think that's what we're seeing in some of the better players is that it's kind of flat out here, you know, maybe to the right of the leg and in front of the leg, and then it, it sharpens up as it nears the ball. And what Dr. Nesbitt did in his papers was he drew two points along those that curve and uh, had a geometric center of curvature. So if it was really sharp, those two points would intersect maybe right here, and on a flatter part of the curve, those two points might intersect up here. So it's more of a geometric center of curvature than an anatomical one. No, no not relation to the body, or it's just relation to of where those lines would intersect. And the only reason I brought that up is that you know we got to really concentrate on the sharpness of the curve. You know, it's flatter and sharper in most good players. Um, you know, maybe more rounded, um, and even maybe down at impact for some uh, players that are not playing so good. So that's. Uh, the reason I brought that up, hope that uh, explains uh, the center curvature.